My name is Fiona Gardner Highland, and I lecture in language and literacy education in Mary Mackley College, alongside uh, coordinating the Teal Project in um, Desh Schools in Limerick City. So, the Teal Project Limerick is a teacher development project that aims to respond to the needs of children with EAL needs in schools. That's English as an additional language. Our schools have become increasingly multilingual and diverse over the last number of years and teachers have identified a need and a gap in this area in terms of providing professional development and a support group type of approach to catering for the needs of these learners. TEAL was set up then in 2019 to support migrant children and their families in their language learning journey. There are eight schools involved in, in the project, six primary schools and two post-primary schools. And these schools all self-selected to be involved with TEAL. So the schools then identified the need to support teachers in terms of their knowledge and skills in responding to these culturally and linguistically diverse classrooms. And that's what the TEAL project does and Fiona will tell you a little bit more about that. The TEAL project components involve uh, three aspects. Number one is a professional development uh, programme which is customised. It's based on the needs of the teachers themselves, it's not dictated. Number two, it um, involves uh, an online and a face-to-face -face community of practice. And this community of practice is like a support group for teachers where it provides a platform for them in a non-threatening, safe environment to um, share their successes, to share their concerns and to share their practices. The schools involved then are CBS Primary School, Presentation Primary, St Michael's Infant School, St John's Boys and Infant Girls School, St John's, St John the Baptist Boys School and we also have St Mary's Girls School as well. So they're the primary schools and then the post-primary schools are Colosh de Vahil CBS and Colosh de Nananagel as well, all based in Limerick City. Being a school in Limerick City, we're very lucky that we have very close connections with Mary Immaculate College, which is the college where most teachers in Limerick would have trained. So that 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 relationship is already there. It is built like it's been built on for many years. I suppose one of the, the issues that did impact on our schools was the huge increase in uh, migrant children that started attending the schools in the city centre. So we would have brought that to the attention of the Oscult network of principals, and we all had the same experience. So it came from the ground really it came from us we you know recognized this real need that existed in our schools to and you know to enable us to I suppose deliver the curriculum in the best possible way to these children so out of that arose um, Teal so you know so it was something we called for and it was Mary Immaculate College responded and Teal was born that encourage us to celebrate the cultural diversity in our schools which we do to respect their language which we do to promote them using their own language as well as our language which we do so again it's for everybody it's a win-win situation they're they're you know they're getting to learn in a really um, cultural diverse way but also we're getting to learn how to teach in this way so you know it is a win-win for us and the children We became involved in the Teal project because we saw it as a very real opportunity for our staff to upskill in an area where there is little or no formal training and to increase uh, teacher knowledge and teacher confidence in um, teaching our children where English is not their first language. Um, these pupils often have a difficulty in accessing the primary school curriculum throughout the whole school cycle but it is most notable when pupils would join us in the senior end of the school um, because they would have had a different educational experience and have a limited English language proficiency in comparison to their peers in the same class level. Um, all children need an inclusive education and and we want to create an integrated environment for our whole school community and we knew that getting involved with Teal would help us to achieve our school vision for that in a very real and supportive way. Our involvement with Teal, along with the new primary language curriculum has really given us a bit greater understanding of language learning and also taught us to celebrate the rich diversity of language which we have within our school. So just to, you know, to sum it up, we now have techniques and resources you know, which have been strengthened by our involvement in the TEAL project. 
we also have a greater understanding of the theory behind language learning and now we have a great um, sense of pride in the diverse languages that we have in this school and you know Teal has kind of supported us in becoming a plurilingual um, school and a plurilingual community. So as a school we are very committed to providing an inclusive educational experience for our students and standing still for us is never an option so in everything that we do we want to improve and innovate. Over the years our school has become more and more multicultural and that has enriched us. However, it has also created challenges for teachers in the classroom who are dealing with students who are culturally and linguistically very diverse. So we would have students coming through our doors who may have no English and it creates challenges of course in interacting and teaching those students and also in working with their parents and guardians. It was um, about 15, 16 years ago that when we had our first uh, EAL um, student coming uh, through the gates of uh, Collage de Nanenego and uh, many more have come since. We now have a multicultural school. Uh, you'll see uh, linguistic and cultural diversity everywhere you look in our school and uh, we believe that uh, they contribute uh, tremendously to uh, our uh, own uh, school culture. So when the Teal project came along we saw this as an incredible opportunity for our EAL teachers in the school to be able to access high quality continuous professional development and to bring their learning back to the school to our staff. We have uh, been given continuous professional development. We have been given guidance and extraordinary amount of support that was much needed in, uh, towards improving the EAL provision in our school. Now we understand as a staff that regardless of your um, subject in terms of the subject that you're teaching, you are an EAL teacher and we have now lots of strategies for differentiation within the classroom and we are using home languages more within the classroom and these are just two examples of the way in which the Teal project has supported us in terms of ensuring that no child is left behind and that we have the very best possible EAL provision in the school. It's actually good for everybody. We all benefit from it. Teachers benefit from it, the Yale students benefit from it, and all the students benefit from it. So basically, what's good for EAL, it's good for all. So teaching English as an additional language is a new chapter in Irish schools and we were very interested in finding new ways to support our students and our EAL students in particular. This project offered an opportunity to build a new model of support for pupils with an English as an additional language and to build a bank of resources for EAL teachers. And so we were delighted to be offered the opportunity to take part in the project. For me as an EAL teacher, it has been invaluable to have had so much support from Fiona and from the Teal community. In particular, the CPD has been excellent and it is wonderful to be part of a group of EAL teachers who are willing to share tips and ideas as well as suggestions for the purchase of useful resources. We are all lifelong learners and this project has given me the opportunity to learn from Fiona, from the Teal community and the experts who have been involved in providing the CPD. As a Deshban One school here in Gary Owen, we have a wide range of needs and what we've actually discovered is that the training that we're getting through the CPD with Mary I is actually having a positive impact on all of our children. So for example, sentence structure and, and grammar. So all in all, it's actually a much larger scope. It's actually benefiting all of the children here in the school. I would say grasp the opportunity with both hands. Attend the CPD training in person as it is the conversations and discussions that arise on the day with other EEL teachers that provide you with invaluable information. The guest speakers are handpicked to suit the requests of those taking part. I found they brought a fresh idea to the table. If you are a new EEL teacher like I was when I started the project, this project is the perfect starting point. 
It was a win-win project for St John the Baptist Boys School, as is evident in their displays, uh, which, are, which I'm surrounded by. The winning of the European Language Award was the icing on the cake and highlights the success of the TEAL project for everyone involved. So what inspired us to become part of the TEAL project was we wanted to ensure that the teachers had the necessary skills and resources to support the children as best they could. We wanted the children to feel safe, to feel welcome and to feel part of our school. We also want to develop relationships between the children who are already in the school and the children who will be joining our school from different countries. The impact of the project in, a short, in the short term was that the children were able to share all of this wonderful information about their home countries, their, the music they loved, poetry, and that was fabulous in itself. It allowed the children who were coming from an Irish background and who were born in Ireland and who spoke only English and a smattering of Gaelga to think about their own identity in a different way because this was new to them. So that kind of opened up a bit of a discussion between the kids, which was very interesting, and developed the relationships between them uh, and kind of strengthened that sense of each other. So that was the short-term impact, but it was also the long-term impact because that has kind of changed how we teach ELL children, you know, because now we're letting the kids direct their own learning. We are absolutely thrilled that the Teal Project has been awarded this European Language Label Award. It is validation of the tremendous work that the teachers and the schools have been doing to support children and families in their language learning journey in Limerick. I feel this project could be replicated across the country because ultimately it starts, um, it always starts in the same place, identifying the needs of your learners and then responding appropriately. And as identified in the new primary language curriculum, linguistic and cultural diversity is here to stay and it's something that we need to integrate into our classes and across our subject areas and it's of benefit to all children, including Irish children, and the integration of the Irish language um, is very positive as well for Irish children and for EAL learners. I'd like to thank the teachers in this project, the teachers and the principals and the schools involved. They've put a tremendous amount of work into the project. Their dedication um, is, is evident, and uh, I've really learned from them. And I think that this small scale um, type of community of practice could be replicated across the country, regardless of what the school context is and the profile of the students in your school. Thanks very much.